we can come together as one family to celebrate this very special occasion. From the beginning of the memory of the church, this, this has been the mother of all liturgies. The liturgy that gives meaning to all the liturgical year that you and I come and gather here every time we come to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. It is tonight. The passion, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hermanas y hermanos, esta es una noche muy especial y venimos como una familia a reunirnos aquí. Porque la iglesia desde, desde el principio se ha recordado del día especial en el que el Señor resucitó. Y eso da significado a todas las celebraciones de la Eucaristía de nuestro año. Tonight, we celebrate Jesus Christ as light of the world. A light that has conquered the darkness of sin and death. The light that has given us our deliverance from the ways of the world. And this is particularly true with the catechumens that we are coming here to receive as new members of the body of Christ. And everything around us speaks of life, it speaks of celebration, the light in the middle of darkness as we came in. Light has conquered darkness. The incense, the aroma of Christ that is surrounding us with his uh, beauty. And then we have the dazzling thoughts of the priest as purity. We have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And we have also the music of celebration and the words of the gospel, the exodus, the reminders that God's people have gone through the, through the ocean and have received new life. Everything around us, even this beautiful building. Last year, if you remember, we were in the other side, in the other side of the town. There were three churches, now it has become one family in this building. And the center stone of this building is Christ himself, the rock. But before we continue to speak about all the things that remind us of life, in the celebration of life, I want to bring to mind when we began this uh, liturgical celebration. You remember this altar was nude. Christ himself was stripped away of all, all, of all that you and I experience as beautiful, the most important thing, life itself. And he was laid in the tomb. The word was made silent. Christ himself seemed to have been de de defeated by death. And for a little while, Satan ruled over the world. However, it was in this silence that you and I must ponder. Death and life come together. You and I just came from the winter time of our lives. And everything is leading out, out there. New life is coming. And it's in that silence that you and I, I began to go deeper into the mystery of life. Because it is in Christ himself, in, in his death, that the world was made silent, that we start realizing that when we are stripped away from all uh, the worldliness in our, in our person, then we become new Christians. And tonight, the Catholic <coughs> are being received as sons and, da and daughters of the living God, and you are being stripped away of all the worldliness. And you are 
being vested in Christ as new creatures. And what a beautiful thing that everyone that came uh, along in this journey with you have now, uh, we are now ready to celebrate with you in this community. And all that community is going to be blessed because of these men and women that have said yes to Christ. Our body will be strengthened tonight. And it's good reason to celebrate, brothers and sisters. It is good reason to celebrate. We are not to be sad no more. We are to celebrate the fact that God has conquered death, has conquered the silence. His, his very person shed his blood to the, to the last drop. And that blood sink down in between that rock, filtered down to the darkness of, of the unknown. And profaning the silence and the darkness of the unknown. And he gave us new life. And tonight these catechumens are dying to the ways of the world. And they are, they are becoming new creatures in Christ. And so the invitation for your life is like the catechumens to say yes to the Lord. To say yes, Lord, I want to be with your disciple. I want to be faithful with you. Every day, every morning, every afternoon. And even the catechumens are saying a big yes tonight, you and I must continue to say a small yes every day of our lives to continue to be faithful with Christ and in Christ and through Christ. And so I invite everyone to rejoice tonight. The Lord has brought you life in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of death. And we should celebrate. And so I invite everyone to be vested as new creatures, to be able to say to everyone around us, God has resurrected, hallelujah. God has resurrected, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has resurrected, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has resurrected, hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah.